Welcome back. Joyce Rayner joins us this afternoon. We're so happy to have her, and she does wonderful work for the Center for Healing Hearts and Spirits, telling us uh, about a very busy month they have ahead in April. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you all. Well, tell us uh, what the Center for Healing Hearts and Spirits does, first of all. Well, first of all, the Center for Healing Hearts and Spirits uh, is an 18-year-old program. It was created to assist victims and survivors of violence and those who are affected by chronic illness. So we've been working uh, for over the last 18 years working with sexual assault victims, homicide victims, those uh, affected by domestic violence, those also uh, who's affected by things like tobacco, uh, drugs, and alcohol. So those are primarily the events that we do uh, and the education that we put out in our community. And we serve Pulaski County, of course, but also a 12, uh, 12 additional counties. A very important work that you do. You, you guys do a lot, helping a lot of people. Next week is important because it is National Crime Victims' Rights Week. Talk about that. Well, it's, um, as you say, it's National Crime Victims' Rights Week, and it's actually April the 7th through the 13th, and it's a national uh, observance. Um, we're going to be um, h highlighting um, those ills and uh, things that affect, our, affect crime, but bringing awareness to available services and how victims uh, can be uh, assess those services. Uh, and as you all know, and, and I've told the story before, my oldest son was a victim of a homicide. So that's what got me into, and also my brother, a victim where it relates to tobacco uh, consumption. So this is very important for all those victims out there. We've heard a lot on the Me Too movement and mm -hmm. so forth. Well, this is our month that we not only uh, highlight um, those individuals who've been victimized, but also uh, Alcohol Awareness Month, mm -hmm. Sexual Assault Awareness Month. That's really important uh, for us to make sure we bring awareness. So next Tuesday, um, April the 9th, we're going to have a march to the Capitol and a restoration ceremony. So we're asking if you've been a victim of violent crime, mm -hmm. a few in law enforcement, join us. We're going to march a few blocks to the state capitol to bring awareness. Uh, they need to call us. They can call 372-3800. But we want all of our communities to get involved because if I'm a victim, that means you're a victim mm -hmm. because we're all in it together. Absolutely. You are so right. Next Tuesday, tell us again where and what time to be there. Uh, we're going to start uh, on the steps of the capitol, but just back up a block and a half, mm -hmm. a, about 10:15. We want everyone to assemble themselves. Um, we're going to uh, give you more information when you, either you go to our website at hhscenter.org or call the call our office at 372-3800. Um, April the 9th, we're going to be celebrating uh, National Crime Victims' Rights Week by hosting a march and a restoration ceremony. Law enforcement agencies, victim advocates, and survivors and victims of crimes will be there. Powerful, powerful work that you're doing. All this info will be on KARK.com with a link to her website um, and see all that they're doing and how you can be a part of it. But join them, especially for that march next Tuesday. You all come on over. Yeah, come absolutely. on over. We're right out the front door. door. Yeah. It's really important. We'll yes. bring some coffee. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate you, Joyce. We are back with the dial after the break. Stick around.